Hi everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Blythe News. I haven't done a Blythe News video in a while and I thought I'd try something a little different. In the past I would just show images and uh, tell you about them and do a voiceover, but I thought I'd get in front of the camera today and make it a little bit more personal. And I will try to put the images over here when I edit. Um, I also have some here on my iPad. This is the My Doll Collection app, and I definitely recommend it. It has all of the releases for Blythe, and it's a wonderful resource. And let me just say some other resources I use when I collect my information for these videos includes, of course, Instagram. Uh, Junko Wong, in particular, has a, uh, a channel over there or a, a, an account, and she shares information about what you know dolls that are coming out, and whenever she has photographs, that's a really good place to, to go check out. Make sure you follow her. And then as far as um, other social media, definitely there's a lot of Facebook groups. Of course, I have to, you know, suggest that you join my Blythe Doll Buddies group. Okay, Blythe Doll Buddies is is my group. Um, I also run it with my sister Terry, Tapping Flamingo. So um, I have a link down below to uh, Blythe Doll Buddies if you want to join us over there. And then a really good group also that I am a member of, I don't run it, but Danny does, is called 100% Stock Blythe. That is another really good resource. So anyway, I'm going to tell you about my thoughts on some of the releases that have come out recently and some of the future releases. So April, we had You Are For Me. You, capital U, capital R, number four, me, come out. She is still available right now. Uh, last time I checked, she is available through the Juni Moon shop, um, which is out of Japan, and of course CC Toys, which I believe is out of Hong Kong. Um, she is not on the Good Smile Company site. She was at one point. Um, I came this close to getting her. I mean, I had, I was like, I was ready to get her. And I don't know, something just made me pause. Uh, maybe I will regret it. She has wonderful stock. I'll show a couple of pictures. Like I said, I'll put some pictures up here of her in different outfits. Um, she has two outfits, which is really a nice um, addition. You don't always see two outfits with these dolls. And she, her hair looks white, but supposedly there's some streaks of blonde in it as well. And I know there's people out there who have already done some unboxing videos. So obviously if you go onto YouTube and do a search for her, you will, you'll find some good unboxing videos. I'm trying to remember who recently I saw do one. And shoot, I can't remember. Was it Ambi? Well, anywho, <laughs> Google it. Um, so yeah, like I said, she came out in 2024 in April, the month of April. So she's she's pretty new. I'm filming this now in um, the near the mid to end of June, and I should get it edited and posted pretty soon. So she's not a super um, old release. Um, she has the RBL Evolution face mold, and I'm looking at her stats here on the app. That's why I said I recommend it. Um, and she has some really nice eye chips. She has um, green left, which I always really like the green left. Um, the front facing are blue. Um, and she's got the funky pink front, uh, not my favorite, and then the light side eyes, so the uh, light gray um, side eyes. So the side eyes are green and gray. Uh, that's a big thumbs up. Her blusher is pink. Her eyeshadow is brown. Her lips are salmon, um, and she has um, a cream skin tone. So she's pretty fair. She's a pretty uh, light skin tone doll, and I think that and the white hair, even though supposedly the hair, like I said, is supposed to have like streaks of blonde in it, I am not a big fan just personally. I don't, I'm, it's just not my aesthetic. Um, white hair dolls or gray hair dolls. I, I tend to either like an actual color or blonde or brown or black. Yeah, so I guess like everything else but. So like I said right now, she is available on Junie Moon and also CC Toys. And her price is fairly reasonable. It hasn't gotten crazy yet. Um, however, I can't say the same for the next release that I'm going to talk about. Arledge Timekeeper is a sort of an Alice and the Rabbit spinoff, and as I film this, she is she is not available on CC Toys or Junie Moon. The only place I've seen her is on eBay. Now I will say I didn't think her price on eBay was crazy high. It hasn't gotten ridiculous uh, yet. However. Um, yeah, she is not available from those two vendors, which are the typical ones. Um, I have a video where I'll, I'll link a video that I have. I'll try to remember to do that. Um, but if you, if you go into YouTube and look for like where to buy, buy Blythe dolls, I think I usually pop up, but there are quite a few places to buy them. But the, the three biggies right now are Junie Moon, CC Toys, 
um, and also Good Smile Company, sort of. And I'll talk about them in a minute. They're, they have some issues, let's say, which is odd. But anyway, uh, the Timekeeper doll is super duper cute. And she has gray hair. Um, she's tempting, though. I, I totally love her stock with the, the headband, with the ears. I mean, they, they did a great job with this. And she obviously is very popular. So the release date for her is May, obviously 2024. And like I said, I have not seen her around very much, even though, like I said, I don't think her price has gone crazy high. I want to say she was in the $200 range um, over on eBay when I did find her over there. And she was, she's over there. I mean, there wasn't just like one person that had her. So as far as her stats go, um, like I said, her hair's, well, they're, they're calling it silver, um, not gray, but so it's silver. And again, her, she's very uh, fair. She's a fair skin tone. Her chips, she's got the pink, eh, front-facing pink, front-facing blue. Um, but she has right special eye chips that are purple. Um, so that is super cool. And then the uh, left green eye chip. So the, the side purple, that's a big deal. Um, she has light purple eyeshadow. That is really neat. Um, I'm trying to think. I think, I want to say... Prima Dolly Ebony has kind of a purple eyeshadow, so I really like that. And she has pink lips. So she has, as you can see, she's got some amazing stock. Um, really, really like this. And obviously that's why, and here's her, here's her rendering. Okay. So, yeah, she is pretty popular, obviously, um, if you can't find her on those. Though I will, I will recommend that if you're, if you're ever shopping and you're trying to get a doll and, um, you don't want to buy through eBay because I will I will say sometimes the eBay prices, I feel, are a little bit um, overinflated. Understandably, because they have a lot of fees to pay. If, you're, if, you, if you list stuff on eBay, you, you're going to pay a lot of fees. But um, if you just keep checking these uh, websites, especially CC Toys, they tend to restock pretty easily, pretty often, too. So just you have to just be, check it every day. So before I move on to the next release, let me just mention something about buying dolls from Good Smile Company. I have had some really good experiences. I have purchased at least three dolls, if not four of them. My last one was this chickie here, um, Pleasant Surprise, and she's adorable. She does have some hair issues. She came out in December 23, but I just bought her, um, I think she's my last purchase, my last doll that I bought, so it was just recently, this past month or so. Um, she has some hair issues, like I said, but I'll I'll have some videos out about her if I don't already when this is published. And since I'm in the U.S. and they have a site in the U.S., it was really a wonderful experience buying because I didn't have to wait a month, two, three weeks, whatever, when I like I typically have to when I buy from Asia. Um, and also the shipping was like $12. So that was really nice. And to top it off, this gal, was they had her on sale for 20% off. So I mean... Wow, I, I feel like I got a really good deal. However, I'm finding out that may, that may not be the case anymore. Um, right now, as I film this, there's only one doll over there. Um, who is the doll? She's the a pre-release, no, a pre-order for that I'm going to talk about in a minute. And she is the latest release, and she's only pre-order. And somebody was telling me, a couple people posted on some of the groups that when they went to go pre-order her, the cost for shipping was $28. So I'm sorry, how did it move from $12 to $28? I mean, that's more than double. And, you know, shipping is shipping. You can't change the shipping. Like, so what's happening, Good Smile? Uh, I sent them an email and asked them that because, I mean, I'm kind of bummed. I'm really, I was really excited that I could buy in the U.S., Whenever I purchased before, like I said, the, the shipping was about $12, and I got the doll within the week that I purchased her. So, um, And like I said, this, this gal, I got 20% off. I mean, what's not to like about that? So, um, so what's going on? Now, I did, like I said, I sent them an email, and they sent me an auto reply saying, you know, you have a ticket. We're going to get back with you. Yeah, that was over a week ago, and I haven't heard anything. <laughs> so... That's going to bum me out. I mean, I was really thinking, you know, hey, if they're going to be available like this, I was just going to wait out. I mean, unless it's a doll like I, I'm going to go crazy for. <clears throat> My thoughts were I was going to wait until Good Smile had them and maybe even had a sale. 
and then I was going to pounce on a couple of dolls at the same time. But um, yeah, we'll see if that happens or not. Okay, so all right, on to the next release, which is a doll I'm really, I'm really seriously considering. Um, again, I will put a, a picture here right now as I film this. Um, she only the renderings are out, and I'll put a picture here. But also here's this um, of this doll. She is called Chloris Country Life. And um, so far, right now, there are no official photographs of this doll. However, somebody did post a possible photograph of her. Again, I'll put it up here. It is a horrible photograph. Her hair looks like a mess. Her clothes are all wrinkled. The angle is awful. The lighting is terrible. I don't understand how these photographs sometimes come out like this because this is not unusual for this to happen. I don't know if they're, they're leaks or what, but, um, but anyway, this is a doll that is giving me Country Summer vibes, and Country Summer was my first stock doll that I bought back in 2015, and so I was kind of excited about this doll, but now that I've seen the horrible photograph, I'm not sure. So, um, and the fact that, you know, if, if Good Smile is going to charge $28 when I can basically pay that much from Junie Moon. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little conflicted. But anyway, this doll, <laughs> Chloris Country Life, all that said, she's supposed to come out in July of 2024. So, um, like I said, there's no official pictures of her. Right now, she is available on pre-order on CC Toys and Junie Moon. I am holding off on pre-ordering her. Um, like I said, I, I really would like to see the pictures the doll supposedly, according to the stats here, is supposed to have brown hair. I think light brown hair. Let me see. So, yeah, her hair, she's a normal release. She's a fair skin tone, which I'm not sure if Country Summer is fair or not. Um, she has a RBL Evolution faceplate, and it says light brown hair. So, you know, it's, it's funny because... Uh, the hair, they call light brown hair to be almost anything, uh, it seems like. Uh, constantly there's dolls that come out, they always say light brown hair. And then when you get them, I don't know, I guess brown and blonde, there's a lot of different shades of it. So maybe that's what's happening. But if you look at the picture, I, uh, which again, I might put up, pop up here again. It looks blonde to me, um, but I don't know, maybe that's the lighting. But anyway, I love her her look, her little country Mori girl look. Really, that's, you know, one of my jams there. I like the tan girls, um, and I like the Mori girls. So she really sounds cute. And let's see her, her skin tone, like I said. Oh, she's supposed to have yellowish-brown eyeshadow. Yellowish-brown. Hmm. I don't really like the yellow eyeshadow. I like brown eyeshadow, though. Hmm. Um, her chips, she has gray front special chips. Um, they don't have on here what other chips she has. Hmm, that's interesting. So right now we just know she has great front chips, which gray is a is an eye color I really like. But she's also supposed to have a, like a little smock outfit. So she has, um, she can take the smock off and have. You can see like she's got the little smock. So she can take that off and have a dress underneath. Um, very is similar to actually the blue rabbit doll that came out. That's really she has this really cute dress and then she has a smock over it. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to pre-order her or not. She definitely speaks to me. So we're kind of out of order here. <laughs> I should have done this one first. Um, but then we have the 23rd anniversary. Happy birthday, Blythe. Um, and her name is Juliet. In fact, it's called Juliet's Choice. And Juliet's Choice is a beautiful doll she definitely has some amazing outfits. She's got two outfits, you know, and their anniversary releases tend to have multiple outfits, the fancier box, um, just more, you know, more accessories, you know, because understandably it's an anniversary doll. So every summer they bring, they bring out an anniversary doll. Um, the, I've gotten a few anniversary dolls. The last one I got was 20 Years of Love, and I adore that one. Um, this doll actually kind of gives me the garden of joy vibes her hair this doll is supposed to have sort of a purpley tint to her hair whereas garden of joys has um like a mauveish tint mauveish pinkish tint to her hair um and that's one of the reasons i am holding off on not getting this doll because she seems 
a little too similar to me to Garden of Joy, which I really like that doll, but I don't feel like I need another Garden of Joy. I will say, though, Juliet also kind of gives me uh, Venter Arden vibes, and let me know if you agree with that in the comments below, but <clears throat> the, her her pale face, just her the the, the face up um, kind of gives me that. I don't I don't know why. I could be totally wrong and just hallucinating, being delusional here. <laughs> but, um, and that's one of the things Garden of Joy always gave me, that Arden vibe. And that's, Venter Arden is a doll I would still like to have, and I have not found one at a good price that is in decent shape. So I guess that's really, it's kind of a grail doll for me, but I haven't, I haven't pursued it a lot because, like I said, I never find them at a decent price or, um, or they're, you know, pretty beat up. So, or unfortunately people have customized them <laughs> so then the original doll is basically doesn't exist <laughs> silly me i was raving about the doll and forgot to give you some important details about her so like most of these dolls her faceplate is an rbl evolution as i said her hair supposedly has some a purplish undertone but they are describing it in her stats stats as pinkish brown her skin tone is snow, so that means she's quite light-skinned. Her chips are all special eye chips, including light gray front, light pink front, light blue right, and cobalt blue left. Her blusher is pink. Her eyeshadow is a gradation of light brown and pink beige, and her lips are pink. And in fact, it says on here that her eyes are going to have longer uh, lashes. They're special brown eyelashes that go longer towards the outer part of the eye and that her eyelids have a molded color of pink beige. She has all kinds of wonderful um, accessories and of course two outfits with her. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think you're going to acquire this beautiful doll. But different story. All right, on to finally the last and latest release. Um, it is on pre-order. Her name is Donna Donuts. <laughs> Donna Donuts. Right now we only have um, we only have renderings of her. We don't have any photographs. Um, she's cute. Uh, she is not, though, doing it for me. Um, she's available right now on pre-order on Good Smile and also Junie Moon. I don't believe she's on pre-order for on CC Toys. But uh, uh, oddly enough, she is the only doll on Good Smile Company, uh, Company's U.S. website, which is... I don't get that. I mean, they're making the dolls, so... Either they're going to sell the dolls or not sell the dolls. I don't understand. If you know why, I mean, maybe there's probably a reason that I'm just not privy to. Why doesn't Good Smile have their own dolls that they make for sale? Like, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So, don't know what the deal is with that. But, anyway, um, yeah, she she's a really cute doll. Let me tell you some of her stats here. Again, this is from this, this super cool app. August 2024, she's going to come out. And her, let's see, she's, again, RB Evolution. They all kind of are now these days. Um, she's fair skin tone. Got another fair one here. Um, she has, right now, the eye chip, she's, they're only saying mentioning one set. That's interesting, which are green. She has light green special eye chips. And they actually say right special, but when in the photographs, they're showing them straight on. So that's kind of, or not the photograph, the rendering. <clears throat> she has light green eyeshadow. Her lips are nude pink with a plump shape. Oh, so they're doing those plump lips. Those have been, some people don't like the plump lips and some of them really like them. I'm, I'm down with the plump lips. I like them. Um, and then, of course, she has a super cute little outfit on. They're calling her hair light blonde with yellowish tints. Hmm, light blonde with yellowish tints. That's interesting. And let's see. And her cheeks are salmon. Um, yeah, again, they just say eye color. Light green special color set facing right. All right. So we don't have a lot of information out on her yet. Um, but she's a fairly reasonably priced doll. She, I think she would be like a really good first Blythe doll. I think she would be good. And I think also um, that Cloris Country Life. I think if you're looking for your first Blythe doll... Both of those dolls look pretty cute. They're not outrageously expensive. Um, so, yeah. But also, I mean, keep an eye on Good Smile Company. And I post um, often in my community tab if I see that it has a sale. So you have to go over to the homepage usually, I think, to, to see all that on YouTube. But if I see a sale over there, 
after I buy my doll, <laughs> I let everybody know. <laughs> and I do that with kind of like everything. Like if I see, if I see Elowin dolls or if I see, you know, smart dolls or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I make sure I get what I want and then I let all you guys know. <laughs> so, but anyway, that is going to wrap up today's Blythe news. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on any of these releases. Um, you are for me. That was the first one I mentioned. Then our ledge timekeeper. Did any any of you guys manage to get her before she seems to have disappeared in a lot of places? Um, what are your thoughts about the 20th, 3rd anniversary Juliet doll? She is, her stock, I gotta say, outstanding, outstanding stock. Thumbs up on that. Um, and then also Chloris Country Life. She's coming out in July. Any any takers out there? Um, has anybody seen any decent photographs of her? <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to see any crappy photographs because then I, I don't know, maybe I need to, and then I, I won't want her. And then finally, Donna Donuts. What do you think about Donna Donuts? <laughs> All right, guys, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. For those who have subscribed and supported my channel, I noticed recently that I popped up to 4,000 um, subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And of course, keep an eye out. I'm going to have some virtual Blythe retreat news and information coming up too sweet over here. Um, and if you don't have anything to say at all, just give me an emoji down in the comments. All right, guys, have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye-bye.